All right, everybody, I've got a test for you. So you've all been at home self-quarantining. By now, you probably have uh, cleaned everything you can clean. You've picked all the dandelions out of the yard and you're getting bored. So can you do this test, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand barefooted or in your socks, cross one foot over the other, and go down into a seated cross-legged position, and then stand back up, all right? So this test is called the sitting rising test, and it's devised by Dr. Claudio Gil Arojo out of Rio de Janeiro. And what he did is he studied that test as a predictor of how long will you live. He actually compared it to other things like cardiovascular fitness, uh, cholesterol, obesity rates, and he looked at all of those different factors and said, which one is actually gonna be the best predictor of will you die in the next five years? And what he found is, is that this test actually is a better predictor of that mortality rate than any of the other tests. And it kind of makes sense because if you're overweight, can you do this test? It's probably not as well. If you're not in very good fitness, could you do that test? Probably not as well. And so what you're looking at is the overall flexibility of the entire body. And it's kind of a unique kind of thing. So again, here's how it works. You're gonna stand, you're gonna cross one leg over the other, and you're gonna go down into a seated position. And that is worth five points. And then on your way up, it's the exact same thing, and again, it's worth another five points. Every time that you have to put something on the ground or on your body for support, you deduct one point. So if I go down into this position and I have to put a hand down to steady myself, that would be four points, not five. Likewise, if I come up, I have a hand here, gotta put a hand here, stand up, that would be a deduction of two points. And you lose a half a point if you lose your balance. If you get a little unsteady or if you start to fall over, you lose half a point. And so if you're over the age of 50, you can get a perfect 10. Hey, bravo, good job. That is a fantastic score. If you start losing more than four points, the studies showed that you had a much greater likelihood of having a, uh, of dying in the next five years. So something to try at home, give it a test, get everybody in the house, see how everybody else performs it. Give it a practice a couple of times, that's okay. But we're looking to see your overall flexibility, and if that's something you struggle with, what can you do? Well, you can practice flexibility with things like getting out of your chair, doing some squats, going for a walk, doing some lunges. You can work on balance, staying on one leg. Uh, you can throw a ball back and forth with your kids while you're staying on one leg. That improves balance really well. And most importantly, you might find going to a chiropractor, uh, you know, incorporating some type of good health for yourself, for your body on a routine basis to really improve flexibility, which is gonna help you a lot with this test. So hope you have some fun with that, give it a shot. If you want more, you go to our website, uh, check out our latest blog, this test is in there. It also has some other tips from nutrition and, uh, and, and overall other things that you can do to kind of improve your longevity of your life. Have a great one, see ya.